Hello and welcome to 7635 South County Road 25A here in Monroe Township, Tip City School Districts. We've got a home here featuring 1,700 square feet, three bedrooms, two full bathrooms. This home is being sold as is. Sits on about a quarter acre lot. See here, you've got the very nice covered front porch. Make your way around to the side here. You can see it does have central air in the home. Roof is not that old on the house. I think he said it's only about five years old, so you do have a fairly new roof here. A little side entrance here to the back porch. Work our way around back here. You see you do have a fully fenced-in backyard for a portion of the backyard here. You got this covered back patio back here as well. So this is fully fenced in. The property line does run all the way to the back back here. We're going to walk back here and take a look. You see the two-car garage. Extra wide, nice size two-car garage. And then the tree line there jumps into the other neighbor's property. Work our way around. And this runs all the way back here to the woods. So you can see you've got a little private section back here. And as this little mother-in-law's suite back here in the back, you could also use it as a storage shed, but that is heated and could be used. Alrighty, we've taken a look here at the outside of the property. Let's go ahead and make our way inside and take a look there. Okay, so we've made our way in the front door here. It's going to bring you right into the very large living room. It does have the gas fireplace over here that is working. Ceiling fans in almost every room. Now, there's no doubt it's a fixer-upper. The sellers understand that. They are selling it as is. There is some repairs that need, that need to be taken care of here. But the house is fully habitable. Now, it does have a bit of a circular floor plan here, and you'll notice that as we walk our way through. Here is the kitchen. Now, you can tell they've pulled up the old carpet here in some spots and did discover the original hardwood floors. And so there is hardwood floors underneath everything just waiting to be refinished. A nice built-in little china cabinet here. That doorway there is going to take you down to the basement. And then we talked about circular floor plan. That right there will take you through that bedroom. Now off the back here is the laundry. And then there is that covered porch that we talked about that leads right outside. And then here is the first of the full bathrooms. And unfortunately due to the health, uh, the seller started the process of remodeling it and then was not able to complete it. So they've got the tile torn off here. Uh, but the bathroom is going to be obviously in need of some repair. Okay, so we have taken a look at the first floor. Let's go ahead and make our way upstairs and take a look up there. Okay, so we've made our way to the top of the steps here. And as you get to the top, to the left is bedroom number two. Just like downstairs, every room up here has a ceiling fan. That actually has a full walk-in closet back here, as well as a smaller closet this way. Now directly up the stairs here makes the perfect little nursery or office, sewing room if you need it, crafting room. But it's a nice little room. It's not huge. It's probably about eight by seven. Perfect for a nursery, like I said, or a little office. Now here's the third bedroom upstairs. This one also has a closet. This one does not have the walk-in portion because it has been converted over to make the bedroom larger. So this here's the third bedroom. It does have a nice little built-in bench here. And we'll make our way down the hallway here, and this is full bathroom number two. So two full baths, three full bedrooms, 1,700 square feet. We'll go back downstairs and do some closing remarks. Yeah, I know I said I was going to make my way downstairs for some closing remarks, but forgot we do have a full basement here, so I want to make sure we get this in. does have a full basement built-in hand-built cabinetry. These are all hand-built cabinets here. You see it worked your way around. It pretty much leaves you like a mini kitchen down here with the way it works. Let me zoom out a little bit here. There you go. So we do have some built-ins down here. Plenty of size. I mean, this thing is massive. Absolutely huge walk-in basement. Could easily be finished with these high ceilings to turn into additional space. And then walk back here to what would be the original old cool room. Gets a little echo in here. But we do have that additional space back here as well work our way around, and then that actually walks out to the cellar access. So you can see here, does have a high efficiency furnace. Here's your well pump and expansion tank. Does have the water softener, but they said they have never used that water softener, and I don't know if they even know if it works. And then I told you before, it's kind of a little kitchenette down here, so they do have a stove down here, and sink and things like that. 
and then here's your water sink, or I'm sorry, water softener and your mud sink right here. Alrighty, we've taken a look at the basement. Now we'll go back upstairs for some of those closing remarks. Okay, we are again at 7635 South County Road 25A, right here in Monroe Township. This is Tip City Schools. Fantastic area. Hope you enjoyed the video tour. Have a great day.